Cowboys kneel during anthem. General managers' four words quickly made them regret it. Thanks to former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, we now have an epidemic of overpaid NFL teams and self-entitled players. Taking a knee during the playing of the national anthem among these foolish demonstra uh, demonstrators were members of the Dallas Cowboys. However, owner and general manager Jerry Jones dropped four brutal words this Sunday which quickly made his players regret disrespecting our flag while the Star Spangled Banner played. According to the self-righteous imbeciles who have been kneeling during the anthem, their misguided protests are to raise awareness for issues which allegedly plague our nation, like racial inequality and poli police brutality. Of course the irony in this situation could not be more glaring. Most of the athletes kneeling during the anthem in protest of this alleged racial inequality are black men making more money in a single year than most white people will ever make in their entire lifetimes. Indeed, they don't seem to have thought things through very well. Be that as it may, as each weekend rolls around, continue, we continue to see players take a knee, despite monumental backlash from the American public. At the Cowboys' September 25th meeting with the Arizona Cardinals, Jones, his son Stephen and Jerry Jr., and the daughter Charlotte Anderson joined the team's players, coaches, and staff on the field in taking a knee and locking arms prior to the anthem. During the anthem, the Jones family stood arm in arm with the players, sources at ESPN. One team, which we thankfully will not have to witness kneeling any, any longer, though, is the Dallas Cowboys. After their game against the Green Bay Packers on Sunday, owner and general manager Jerry Jones, who apparently had a change of heart about the Cowboys' prior demonstration, issued a stern threat to any players who might have a mind to shamefully disrespect our country, our flag, and those who have fought and died to protect them. Jones dropped only four words to warn players as to what they would expect if they chose to kneel, but it was enough to scare them into submission. Apparently, they aren't so tough after all. The topic was raised after Vice President Mike Pence left Sunday's game between the Indiana, uh, Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers after more than 20 Niners knelt during the national anthem with their hands over their hearts, as was the case uh, the previous week. Pence tweeted a statement in which he said he would not dignify any event that disrespects soldiers, the flag, or the anthem, according to Fox News. Jones showed solidarity with Pence's stance, saying, We will not play if his own players chose to kneel. Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones said emphatically that its players will stand for the national anthem and not disrespect the flag, and if they do, the players or player will not play. If there's anything that is disrespectful to the flag, then we will not play, Jones said, after the Cowboys' 35-31 to loss to the Green Bay Packers. Understand? We will not. If we are disrespecting the flag, then we will not play, period. Source ESPN. Jones is a supporter of President Donald Trump. He is one of the seven NFL owners who donated to Trump's inaugural committee. Trump has spoken out on the anthem controversy on more than one occasion, insinuating that players who kneel should be fired and the NFL should institute a policy forcing athletes to stand with their hands over their hearts for the song at the beginning of the games. As it stands, that requirement is not currently included in the NFL's game operations manual. According to the manual, during the national anthem, players on the field and bench area should stand at attention, face the flag, hold helmets in their left hand, and refrain from talking. So the Dallas Cowboys have been faced with a choice, protest like a bunch of crybabies or play football like men. We will see which they choose in the coming weeks. It would seem an easy and obvious decision. 
However, we have already seen this season just how asinine professional athletes can be. Perhaps they've all been hit in the head one too many times. Whatever the case may be, it's time someone laid down the law and we applaud Jerry Jones for doing so. Absolutely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.